I'm back with a new cold video. Well, we've been flattening the curve for a very long two weeks. I missed the one year, but I think it'd be fun to revisit the original quarantine lockdown. I recognize we're still in the pandemic, but I think that there was something special to be said about those first couple months where this whole thing was new and we were adjusting to our new normal. <laughs> where should I start? Well, let's start from the beginning. We all remember everyone slamming the stores, taking everything off the shelves. I've never seen empty shelves before in my life and it was so weird. And I think the most infamous shelf that was empty was all the toilet paper shelves. And I've got a personal vendetta against this because yeah, I was down to my last roll before I could finally buy some more toilet paper. I mean, you had these idiots just filling up their carts, taking all the rolls they possibly could. And you know, they're like, oh, there's gonna be shortage, so you gotta get some. So they got a ton, therefore causing a shortage. So now everyone's getting more. So then it was all gone. And the most annoying part of it was, it's not like, any symptoms of COVID was excessive pooping. And did you notice that a lot of these people that were buying a ton of toilet paper were like really fat people? Like they probably needed all that toilet paper just on a regular basis anyway, because the way they ate probably made them poop all the time. Since they knew they're never gonna leave their home, they just stayed home and just shitting their brains out all day. Am I being demeaning and angry enough to get my point across here? It just sucked. It really like screwed everyone over and it really was not what we needed in the middle of a pandemic. All right, well, we're, we're not off to a very fun start here. Let's lighten it up. In a strange way, I felt like everyone was unified because everyone was doing the exact same thing. It was cold, it was rainy, at least where I live, and we all just sat at home and watched TV. And everyone was watching Tiger King. There was something to be said knowing that everyone is at home, all watching the same TV show, and no one's leaving the house and really doing anything. I don't know how, I don't know how to explain it. It just felt very much like we're all the same person, all in the same moment. And in a weird way, it was kind of fun. The thing about Tiger King is it started off real goofy and fun, but then as, as the show progressed, it started getting uglier and, and sadder. And once the show's over, a lot of like really sordid details about his life started coming out and it, it just it kind of was like, oh, they kind of moved away from it. But just looking at his face just immediately takes me right back to March. I think one of the more amusing things about the quarantine lockdown was the commercials. Every company, we're all in this together. We're here for you. And we'll get through this. Together. 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 Production was on pause. They couldn't make new commercials, so they kind of just kept rolling the same ones over and over. Did anyone else think it was eerie once the commercials started uh, featuring people with masks on? That's when I knew, like, okay, we're in this for a minute. We're not getting out of here anytime soon. The murder hornets were a huge disappointment, I guess. Yeah, there was talk about all the murder hornets and the next thing coming at us. I think everyone was like excited about it. I think it's just because it was something we could understand and something we could kind of face a little head on. But then it turned out to like really not be much of a thing and people were disappointed. I'm not even cool with normal hornets. I don't even like bees. Turns out the murder hornets don't like attack people. They only attack other hornets. Either way, it was kind of a letdown in adding some flavor to this lockdown. But personally, I'm glad it didn't become a thing. So here's where things really got ugly. You know, Corona took away restaurants, took away concerts, took away sporting events but where it went way too far was taking away the gym. So the quarantine started on Tuesday, and on the Monday it was when everyone was, was going to the stores and buying everything they could. Most normal people went to Safeway and were buying groceries. I went straight to Dick's Sporting Good to buy weights. What I discovered is every sporting goods store was out of weights. All the other dude bros beat me and they swept up all the workout equipment. So I was stuck doing push-ups and pull-ups only. I've never done so many in my whole life and I never want to do one again. But then I got smart. Here's where I got reduced to. I bought five gallon buckets. Water weighs 8.3 pounds per gallon. So five gallon bucket could be 40 pounds. So that's what I was doing in the backyard, filling these guys up with water and doing my curls, doing my shoulder exercises. It was rough. Now, I'd like to give out an award to America. Among push-ups and pull-ups, one of the staples of all the at-home workouts was burpees. Burpees made a huge resurgence and I have no data to uh, substantiate this claim, but I wanna go ahead and say that as a, a nation, we collectively have never done more burpees than any other year. So I wanna give out this official burpee award for America in 2020. Great job guys, you did it. Just some miscellaneous notes, all the little things that kind of added to the experience. Do you guys remember when everything was on fire? 
for those of you on the West Coast, the whole, like most of California was covered in smoke. And here in the Bay, we had that whole week of orange red skies. Have you guys seen these restaurants with the outdoor seating? They put their tables and chairs outside, but they need like you know, a cover for the sun and the rain. So they put like the, the tarps up, but it also has the walls. So now you're outside, but now you've made it in a closed space. So you can't eat inside, but you can eat outside as long as the inside is outside. I think at this time I'd like to give H3 Podcast a shout out. I've never really watched podcasts before and since quarantine started, I've watched almost every single episode. Peace and love, Papa bless. Shout out to all the men out there who are really taking advantage of the time to grow their COVID beards. I feel like a bunch of people I know give it a shot. Even I didn't shave for a few days and boldly called it a beard. There was a grand return of the undercuts as everyone was at home trying to uh, desperately cut their own hair. I wish I'd known I wasn't going back to work for a whole year. I would have done some wilder stuff in my hair. Well, not really groundbreaking stuff here, but it's amusing to kind of look back at a snapshot in our life. Take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching and great job for making it through this thing so far. Hang on tight. We're almost there.